Now that we have discussed all of the plugin 40 script options, let us talk about the inbuilt Unity shaders. The material of the Unity 40 Fuse prefab sequence is the Legacy Shader Self Illumination Vertex Lit one. We choose this one since it is completely independent on lightning conditions and always shows the texture as a self illumination one. But we do not want a self illumination shader in a lighted scene. So for that, let us change this shader to the standard Unity shader. Let us click on this little box and choose the standard Unity shader. As you can see, the sequence has become a lot more shiny than usual. We don't want this glossy reflective effect in our sequence. So let us open the options for the Unity for Diffuse shaders and talk about all of those options a little bit. The Unity for Diffuse sequences only support a texture. They do not have a metallic, normal, height, occlusion, or detailed map. So having a smoothness value for a metallic or specular effect actually just creates false reflections on our texture. So let us set the smoothness value all the way down to zero. As you can see, most of the reflective material has already vanished. We also do not want an emission on our sequence since it does not glow in the dark. So let us disable this little checkbox. Lastly, in the forward rendering options, we want to disable specular highlights and reflections since they are actually the root in our problem of smoothness and metallic look. So let us disable both of them. Great. Now our sequence looks a lot better than before. But to give it the last final touches on our shader, let us go to our mesh renderer and enable receive shadow options in the lighting tab. This will allow our sequence to cast a shadow on itself and not only on the ground, as you can see here on the wrist or on this t-shirt.